Hello, this is Vanessa Deberlay and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about some very simple tips on how you can grow your channel. I, one thing that I want to leave you with right now is remember if you are brand spanking new, obviously you're going to feel like the whole world, everybody on YouTube is doing better than you and you're, you feel like your growth is really slow, but one day you'll start to grow and you'll realize yeah, those people are still up there, but now you have people that are following you and want to know what tips you have for them. So always reach out to people that are like right above you, learn from them, and then turn around and teach what you learn to other people. And that's kind of how it works. And the neat thing is everybody has their own style of teaching. Everybody has their favorite people that they like to watch and there's room for everybody, but don't be discouraged. But I'm going to show you a tool that I love and I was looking at it. Um, I use TubeBuddy and I've been trying to make videos about different features that it has. And um, because I did make a video once about how you can make comments in there and have them ready to go. And somebody wrote back and said, oh my gosh, I've had this for years and I didn't even know it did it. So I thought, well, maybe I'll dig in and start using all the tools and teaching them to you. And then you therefore can use them and teach them to somebody else. But one of the things that you can do in TubeBuddy, which will also help grow your channel, is to have a good thumbnail. Now, I know you hear that all the time. I know you can make thumbnails on Canva. You can make them on Get Stencil. There's programs out there that you can buy and make them, and you can pay somebody to make them. And right now, you have to make them because you don't have any money. <laughs> You're brand new, and it's just one of those things you have to do. Now, what I like about TubeBuddy, if you notice, one of the things um, when you make your YouTube um, thumbnail is some people will just keep putting the same face on there and that kind of gets old after a while if it looks too much the same. I like them to have variety and I love looking at the ones where people will take a snapshot of their video. Um, you know, they'll make their video and then they'll go in there and grab one. Well, I have done that before, but I was going into my Camtasia account and grabbing one from there getting an image and putting it in Canva. I mean, there's a lot of steps. So I'm gonna show you how simple this is. So we're gonna go over step number one, tip number one. And I want you to go, well, this is how, how you use it. You're gonna go into your YouTube channel and find a video that you wanna make a thumbnail for. Now you can do it brand new when you're uploading. I have some old videos that I wanna redo the thumbnails. Um, here's one I wanna redo. Uh, grow your YouTube channel. So see right here where it has a little TB, that's for TubeBuddy. And these are all the features that I have in this tool that I can do. And I've talked about many of them in different videos, but today we're gonna to talk about the thumbnail generator. And why is that gonna help you grow your channel? Because if you can't have something to catch people's eye, they're not gonna click it. And sometimes it could be your picture. Um, you know, I've seen people that have got those beautiful bright blue eyes and, you know, they just, they've got an advantage over the rest of us. Um, but, but sometimes it's what you put in the words and you might have those three or four words that, that picture just showing you teaching and that's enough, but you just want to make sure whatever you put there is going to catch somebody's uh, attention. And the neat thing about this tool, let's say you have a thumbnail and you're like, well, this, this video doesn't seem to be getting a lot of clicks. A lot of people aren't clicking it. Maybe I can go back in and change it. And you can see I've had this video since August of last year. It's got like over 600 views. See, I'm not in the millions. <laughs> so it's okay. Um, this one says um, still frame from video. So I'm going to click that. And what it does, there's my video. And I can just... <laughs> I turn the noise off, but it's playing. And what I can do, and I'm not going to play it too long. I'm trying to wait till it backs up a little. I don't want my face right up in smack up in front. Let me go back a little bit. Oops, I backed up. Okay, so uh, not a good face. But you, you've got to sit here and play with it. I'm going to leave it there. It's probably not what I would pick, but I was outside. I have a different background. It's not the same old, same old thumbnail all the time. Okay, so now I'm going to continue. And I wanted to make sure I had some space over here to the, to one side or the other to put some some words. I'm still wearing that same black sweatshirt, aren't I? I'm always cold. Um, I I wear it a lot. Okay, and here you have text. What I'm going to do before the text, though, I'm going to put a shape. You know how some people will put like a box, and then they put the words on it. Um, sometimes these little boxes will help things pop, and also. On my box, I'm going to use a different color. 
color that I'm using as part of my branding. I changed it up recently. I was using a lot of red and black in the beginning, but I kind of did redid my website and I'm more, I'm using more of this um, blue color that I like. And I've mem I've, I've got the code and I can just copy and paste it and put it in there. So this is kind of my, my color that I like to use a lot. Now I want to do another shape and see, I can just keep making more. Now I, I can um, change the colors of these. I'm going to put three of them. I'm not even sure what the title of this is. Oh, grow your YouTube channel. And we'll put a third one. Only because this picture is not really bright and it doesn't really pop. So I'm going to use the blocks for the words. And you can use different sizes. You can change the color. Obviously, you don't want all three of them to be the same. So the one in the middle, I'm going to change the color to white. And just so they pop. and come back out there you go now I'm gonna to go to text and I can change the type of text that I use and you can see there's all kinds you can upload your own if you'd want um, I want something that that you know kind of bold and try that one and then I type my text here And I'm just going to put grow, the word grow. And there it is. Now it's red. I don't want it to be red. So I've got to go back into the text. See how it's red here? And change it, I think, to white. And there you go. I can change the size. I can make it bigger. Right here it says large. I can go to extra large. Now you want to do these in order. Earlier when I was practicing this, I did my text first and then I couldn't get it on top of the box. So what you have to do is build from the back to the front. Um, all right, so I'm going to leave that. Well, let's. And there you go. Now, you can put emojis, you can put frames, you can do all kinds of different things. Here's all the emojis real quick I'll show you, right? And I'm going to go back to text. I knew that was going to happen. I didn't finish it. I'm going to do white and add layer. And then it just moves back over here. So that gives you an idea of what that could look like and there you go you just need a few words to put on your on your thumbnail and again you have all kinds of things if you want to make a template you can go ahead and create this into a template um if you watch nick nimmin he tends to have um a lot of times his face off to the side and then his um, text he puts different kinds of boxes but he, he has a channel that it looks like he uses four or five different templates so he probably just saves them and goes in and chooses different ones which is fine um, that way you don't have to do all that building um, you can put in your own image if you want if you hit image from here you can get it from your desktop and or go to your browser bring it in you can bring shapes in you don't even have to put your face on there a lot of people don't like to do that in the beginning but it is something people like because they want to see who they're talking to. And so we're going to go ahead and continue. And this is the neat thing. This is what I really think is neat here. Okay, grow your channel. YouTubeBuddy went in and found other videos that were comparable to mine and showed um, how I stack up against other people. So if you look, you can see other people had kind of the same topics. And these are some of the thumbnails that they made. And you, there's mine right there, grow your YouTube. Um, I kind of like the blue better that one I don't know it just looks too plain um, not as natural I honestly like I said I like it when people take their um, an image from their video and bring it out and then when you open it up you can see that it all matches that's just me um, but there you go you can look at uh, see how you stack up against other people and then you save it and you publish it and I'm gonna go ahead and publish it because it was one of the ones I wanted to change anyway are you sure you want to publish it because it's gonna take the other one away I happen to save my other ones in folders so if I change my mind I can go back and pull it out so there it is it's gonna go ahead and publish now while that is but there it is it's done um, 
it's published and now I want to, I don't want to download it. I don't want to save it. So that's fine for me. And it does take sometimes up to watching your retention. Okay. You're watching your subscribers. You're watching how many views you get. That's good. Um, it's exciting. But one of the things you want to watch too is how long are people watching your videos and you can go into your analytics. I went in and I'm just going to pick a video and I'm just going to pick any old video. Um, this one here, let's see, this is Social Sprout versus Hootsuite, okay? I'm going to go ahead and select that video and I want to see the retention on it. I want to see how long people are watching it and when it drops off, okay? So let's go up here. And as you can see, people start watching, watching, watching. And about around here, I have 51% retention. So around the average is 51%, but what is happening after that? Um, and, and it just, it does start to drop off probably right around here, around eight minutes. I'm probably rambling at the end of the video. That's what a lot of people do. They just start to ramble because you, especially when you're new, you're not sure how to close out the video, but you can go back into your video and you can edit it and chop off the end. Um, I have other videos I've made about that, but what I want you to do right now is just watch the retention and see what am I, where am I dropping? Why, why are people not watching me? Maybe you're doing, you're saying too much in the beginning and then in the end, you're just kind of rambling and saying subscribe and you know, all that kind of stuff. By the way, do subscribe to my channel. Um, you do want to tell people to do that because it, it is a, an unwritten we all know that, but people don't do it unless we're told to. I've done it myself. I'm watching a video and they go, oh, subscribe. And I'm like, oh, I like this person. I will subscribe, but I don't think to do it or leave a comment or answer a question. Um, you have to ask people to do those things and that gets them to stick around a little bit while, longer and it shows some engagement as well. But though, that's, in my opinion, one of the first metrics that you want to start watching. Now, I want to bring you I want to show you here is a metrics, okay? And you can see how it dropped and you can see that curve. It just goes down and it drops over. You don't want to your metrics to look like that. Here's another one that I have. This is 15 52%. It was one that I found in there. It's close to this, but you can see the curve of the metrics. Anything 40% or better, you're doing good. You're in there. So Aim for the 40%, and if you do better than that, that's fantastic. Obviously, if you get 60 and 70%, you're really doing well. One other thing that you want to make sure you pay attention to with your videos is have a good description underneath. Now, I have redone mine like four or five times, and what I did is I typed it up on a Word document, and then I copied and pasted it. So let's go back into this video and give you is that when you make your description, you want it to go on every video, and you can go here into your settings, on the side and make a description that will be on every page. And it's really hard to do it here because this is all the space that you get, okay? In the beginning, I wasn't sure how all this worked and I had a title put in here. I don't put a title in there now because all my titles are different and I did not type my description up in here. What I did is I did got a Word document. I'm gonna pull it up for you. And I typed up my description here, and this is the layout I came up with. Um, I had this is my free thing that I give, affiliate marketing plan, four step guide, and you always want that near the top. I always leave room here. I'm going to write my description, and then if I ever have if I have ever have any links that I'm referencing in the video, it'll be right below there. Today, I'll have a TubeBuddy link there if that's something that you want to look at. They do have a free program, and then they have the Star program that has more features. And then here I just have some business tools. Um, subscribe to my channel. There's a link there. Business resources, and then I have some YouTube recording equipment. And then popular videos. Some people have a slew of popular videos. It's just whatever you want to put in there. Um, all my social things and then my disclaimer. Now under that I have um, hashtag Vanessa D. Berlay, and then I always add two more hashtags. If you put it in there with your description it's going to pop up at the bottom of your video. So that's just a little tip for you there. But type something up that you like and then put it into the settings where I showed you. And when you put it into the settings it's right here. When you, you know, when you're going along, which you will, you may want to update it, change it, you know, make it look nicer. You might find somebody that you're like, oh, I like the way that they do it better. And you just keep changing it. There's lots of variations out there. 
don't get caught up in thinking there's just one way to do it. I've got four or five people I love to follow and they all have different types of subscriptions, descriptions, and they're all very successful. So it, it's a combination of everything, but that's something that as a new YouTuber, you want to work on and have that there because why do you want a good description? If it doesn't look like you've been around and you know what you're doing and it doesn't look professional, um, I've seen people start out new and they don't put anything down there. They'll put two lines and it looks like you're new. Does that make sense? Um, so put that in there and make it look like you, you've been around for a while and that'll help you grow your subscribers. So Check out the links below. I have YouTube, uh, TubeBuddy down there. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you check that out. I love it. I'm not, I have the star program right now. I haven't gotten the top program because I want to make sure I use all the features. Once I have all those mastered, then I allow myself to move up to the other one. I don't like paying a lot uh, more money for something that I'm not using, if that makes sense. So that's where I'm at. I love it. Um, there's lots of different things. I've got other videos. Um, check out my playlist. I'll have it at the end here of all the different features that you can use in TubeBuddy that I've made videos about. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Thank you for